Hey everybody, Mom Vernon Kid here coming to you again. Welcome back to the Opinion Spot, guys. It's been a while since I did the Opinion Spot, right? Uh, for all the new subscribers, the Opinion Spot is a segment that I've been doing for the past 200 plus <laughs> segments where I give my opinion on a thought or something like that and or various things and I, I share my opinion and I want to hear your input on it. So that's basically what the Opinion Spot is. So we're now what in the 200 and plus, I would say 50-ish. Um, but why am I here? It's because I'm a geek. I know I'm a geek. I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed of it. And over the course of the 20 plus years, I've read comics or read various books or or watch various movies. The constant thing is what this is all about. Immortality. Yes. Uh, I am not a fan of this power, this this gift, if you want to call it that. I'm, I've never been a fan of immortality. I, I find it to be a curse and not a, a gift or a blessing bestowed upon whoever has it. I don't care who you are, um, and I'm going to give my thoughts as why I don't look at it like that. All right. Immortality has always been classified as you you live forever. You have you you cannot die. Or so you can't die, basically, and. Um, It, it makes you feel empowered, as most people classify it. But here's my thought of it, guys. Um, it's not. It's not a gift. It's not a, it's not a reward. Because if you look at all the various characters out medium that have had this immortality, has it brought them happiness? Has it really brought them peace and, and love? Take for example, let's let's look at a character like um, oh, what? Okay, let's let's throw out old Logan, James Howard, uh, Wolverine. Now, some may classify okay, he's not really immortal. Kind of classify, yeah, he is. The dude's been living for over centuries, years old, so. He can't die, pretty much. So, you kind of classify it like, yeah, he, he kind of is kind of important. Now, of course, Marvel over the time has really upped his healing factor a lot uh, because of the fact, because way back in the days, it took him about a couple of days to, to heal from a lot of wounds, like three days or so. But now it's like he instantly, right? But has his eternal life brought him happiness true happiness no it hasn't look at the various kids he's buried lovers he's that's been killed family you name it it, it makes you really wonder why this guy just has not gone insane can we say let's let's talk about the Godfather of superhero Superman? Is he classified as immortal? Maybe. You know he will age slower than the rest of us, than the rest of the people, and it's tough to see him in future stories. You see him still almost being the same age he is, and his lover. Let's let's take Lois for example. Is growing old, and there you go, right there why I consider it because I can't live a life let alone an immortal life where I'm going to witness my loved ones die and I'm going to be like they're going to be like you still look the same age you did 20, 30, 40 years ago. Why aren't you aging? 
and they're aging and dying and I'm still alive. You know how heartbreaking that would be for somebody, especially somebody like me who is very close with my family. So that's why I kind of think of it as a curse. Now, some people would throw, well, look at all the stuff you would get to see. You will see the, you would get to see so many things, the future of mankind or so, you know, so many different lives and maybe see the, the cure of cancer or the cure of the AIDS virus or something like that. Those are good positive thoughts, but still, when you think about it, friends, family, people who care about you. They're just going to die around you. You can't. You're not dying. So that's why I don't like immortality. I've never liked it. And it it really kind of gives me a sense of like in, a, in a some state you're afraid of death. Now most of the time Immortality is bestowed upon these various immigrants, and there's many others out there. But to me, guys, immortality is a crutch. It's a, it's a curse, and it's something that I would never want. No, not me. It, it's something that just feels not right. And there have been many movies that have showcased that immortality pretty much ain't all what it's cracked up to be. Highlander, for example. The first movie, Highlander, showcased that brilliantly about immortality. The, 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 the pros and the cons of it. Perfect example. But I ask you guys, personally, with me, in my opinion, I don't like immortality. And if it was ever bestowed upon me, I don't know what I'd do. Hypothetical. <laughs> but what about you guys? Do you feel that I'm right? Or do you feel that immortality can be a good thing, Chris? Maybe you're just looking at it because you're the way you are, you know? But other than that, guys, I just wanted to get this Opinion Spot segment out. Um, you guys tell me what you think. Give me your feedback. You know me, guys. I love input. That's what I'm, I do these for, to hear what you guys think, your thoughts. And other than that, this is my running kid saying peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real as always. Uh, catch me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Uh, don't forget to check out my team, YouTubers, YouTubers Core. And don't forget to check out the secondary team, Bravo team. I appreciate people subscribing to that. Yeah, I'm going to start throwing out, you know, getting the feedback out on where you can find me and which I'm involved in. Uh, but other than that, guys... You guys take care and uh, I'll see you next time on the opinion spot. Take care.